1v1 Leviathan Hive. Blue side, we have Mostafa 007 as a Chaos Lord. Big tanky melee commander bashes through cover and cannot be suppressed. Cloak made of human skin. Phoenix Light is on the red side as a Eldar Farseer support commander that fights in melee. We have a natural VP for Phoenix Light in the southeast, natural for Mustafa in the southwest, and contested northern VP. Very long map east to west. Phoenix Light has gone for Banshees, light melee infantry with power weapons. I think as an Eldar player against Chaos, the question is always do you get Banshees? It's so tempting because if you can get them into melee with Chaos Space Marines, they will do so much damage and perhaps get you a squad wipe, which will be devastating for the Chaos player. But you have Heretics. With their aspiring champion, they're such a hard counter for Banshees. We will see how it goes. I suppose he plans to keep his Banshees away from Heretics and get them into melee with Chaos Space Marines. 498 plays 500. Phoenix like getting the cap of their natural first. Mustafa did take the contested though. Here comes the Farseer. Very quick on her feet. In melee with Chaos Space Marines here. Now has Guardian support. Light range of tree. Do pretty nice damage though they are fragile. She's trying to get a model loss. Chaos Space Marines can force melee. She might go down here. Just gets away. Here come Banshees. No heretics to help out these Chaos Space Marines. And they are turning tail and fleeing. Here come heretics. Corn Worship gets the Chaos Space Marines out of trouble. There's a Doom Blast suppressing the Banshees. They don't lose a member though and get away. No losses in the first engagement then. Mustafa goes for double heretics. Pretty decent choice versus Eldar, I think. Chaos Lord really, really benefits from that corn worship since he's pretty slow otherwise. Might see Combi Flamer from him. Here come the other heretic squad. There's a plasma grenade. Hits a few members, takes out three. Aspiring champion for this first heretic squad. Grenade launchers for the second. So you have a Banshee counter with this squad and a Shuriken platform counter with this squad. And indeed we do see a Shuriken platform on the field for Phoenix Light. Excellent aggressive play early on for Mustafa has pushed back Phoenix Light. Might be able to take out the Farseer no Shuriken Cannon are going to set up in the face of these heretics and they might be finished off by Banshees here. Get away with just the aspiring champion. Chaos Space Marines forced off with two members. The other heretic squad forced off. That's a lot of reinforcing for Mustafa to do. Very good engagement for Phoenix Light there. Triple generators going down from Mustafa. Four generators going down for Phoenix Light. Curse Lord is indeed getting his combi flamer. Excellent ranged weapon. Fantastic use while he's chasing around guardians and such. 100% accuracy on the move. Forcing off these banshees. They did manage to decap though. And a shuriken cannon is decapping north. Reinforcement all around for Mustafa. Four eight seven plays three four six. Early lead for Mustafa after that early push. Phoenix Light has pushed back though. Full gens here and here two full gen farms for Phoenix Light. Chaos Space Marines look like they're going to try and cap this north note. There's the 
grenade barrage knocking back the shuriken cannon. Corn worship getting the melee heretics into range. Here come banshees. This might be a bit too much for the heretics to handle. There goes war shouts. They are not engaging the banshees. Mistake there from Mustafa was still chasing the shuriken cannon there. Chaos Space Marines now lose members in retreat. Well, one member. 466 pays 345. Chaos Lord. Very sneaky there. And capped Phoenix Lights natural for a 2 to 1. He's trying to decap this wreck point, which is fully matured to plus 30 requisition per minute. Grenade Launcher Heretics can't really do anything against a Farseer. Sink kill takes out one member. Chaos Lord trying to decap has a shuriken and guardians on him. Able to tank them both and decap the point. Damaging your enemy's economy when you do that. Fast here needs to be very careful. Chaos Space Marines and melee heretics with their aspiring champion. A sink kill reduces the damage she takes a lot. And she's forced off. Has her ghost helm. And armor of fortune. Used fortune on herself in fact. Shuriken kind of sets up covering this northern VP. Easily flanked though. On either side. These heretics are going to run right into it or are they flanking? Gonna run right into it. Has now spotted it. Don't get suppressed. Banshee's decapping Mustafa's natural. Ouch, grenade launch heretics do pretty nice damage in range though. Now that the Banshees are moving with fleet of foot, they will get into range and heretics retreat. I only lose a couple of members though. Banshees will try and finish this cap. 2 to 0 cap for Phoenix Light. This Shuriken Cannon is going to get caught by Heretics. It's in retreat. Now goes after Guardians who also retreat. You see how scary Heretics with their Aspiring Champion can be. In tier 1 in a way. Here come Banshees. A triple cap for Phoenix Light. Combi Flamer makes them think again. They have their Exarch now who gets her spear since they have their aspect. Warp Spiders on the way for Phoenix Light. Ghost Helm on these Heretics. I think it's called Mind War the ability. There we go. And they are forced off with three members. Did cap though. Shuriken setting up now on this south side. Needs to set up quickly or the Cursed Lord's going to catch him. Does take a lot of damage as he gets close even though he's not suppressed. Forced off because Warp Spiders are here. Very high damage infantry unit at range. Can also teleport around so there'll be a fantastic counter against those melee heretics. Spider to teleport negating the heretics cover there. They do get grenade launches to the face though. And they are forced off. You see guardians with their warlock giving them emboldened ability. Excellent push here from Phoenix Light now hitting Mustafa's power. Going after the node rather than the generators. Farsi is getting her singing spear. Nasty melee weapon. Banshee's forced off thanks to these heretics. They do level though to two. I think Phoenix Light has managed them pretty well in the face of aspiring champion heretics. We do have double Zinch CSM here. Forcing off the Farsi. Here come a bunch of other Eldar though. 
Kurtzlord taking so much damage from emboldened guardians and warp spiders. Tricky Cannon might finish him off, but he does retreat just in time. Tricky Cannon is going to be destroyed and is. These Zinch Curse Space Marines are no joke when they are. When you have two or more squads. Tricky Cannon replaced by Phoenix Light. No, cancelled. Floating a lot of power, as you'd expect, with double full gen farms. Neither have been hit by a Mustafa yet. Two two five plays three two eight. One to one cap. Gonna be a two to one. Here comes the Farsi and Banshees to the north. That was an Autoc. Called down on the CSM, taking out two members. Remaining two forced off. She's gonna jump this other squad. Sub commander for Eldar, very, very fast on her feet. Here's a blood sacrifice. She needs to leave because that's the blood letter squad. Sacrificing a CSM to get a blood letter squad. And they're gonna finish off the Autoc. Phoenix Light must have been watching elsewhere. Excellent use of blood sacrifice by Mustafa. Banshee's now hitting this generator. They're pretty good at bashing generators. Warp Spiders can decap Mustafa's natural constant pressure on this VP from Phoenix Light. Lost Autark and Shuriken Cannon though. Curse Lord has Lightning Claws. Devastating melee weapon, sink kill on the Banshee, throwing her aside. Also has his Icon of Corn. Not going to be able to tank this though, and goes down. Misjudged that engagement badly there, Mustafa. And a triple cap now for Phoenix Light. Cal Space Marines will try and retake. Warp Spiders can keep the pressure on though. Can't do it for too long with double Zinch Curse Space Marines. Phoenix Knight now bashing his power. This is looking very, very bad for Mustafa. Just lacking mobility badly with these Curse Space Marines. Maybe Mark of Corn would have been better, boosting their speed. And she's decapping fully matured wreck point. Phoenix like totally taking over the map here. Chaos Space Marines did decap Phoenix Light's natural, but the Shuriken Cannon can retake it. Melee Heretics and Zinch CSM, bad news for Walk Spiders. Banshees did decap this wreck point, so annoying. Fully outfitted Farseer up against the Chaos Lord, who doesn't have a armor upgrade. What thanks to Mark of Corn is making short work of this Farseer. She is forced off. Uses fleet of foot to get away. Caught in retreat by a heretics, but they can't take her out. She's level three. Two to one cap now for Phoenix Light. Again, pressuring most of us natural. Can't believe Phoenix Light went for six generators so quickly. Thought it would have been a waste of requisition. And he's floating almost 600 power here. Warp Spiders melting heretics, exploding them. Here come double CSM though. See Guardian Shields. Guardians trying to finish the cap but they can't. 92 plays 317. Banshees guarding this northern VP. We have level 2 Banshees up against level 1 Heretics. Banshees win this fight I think with their Exarch. Oh, Blood Sacrifice though spawns a group of Bloodletters. 
Banshee's fleet away. Such a great ability for Eldar units. Allows you to get away without retreating. Ouch, there's double Zinx though. Banshee's looting models like crazy down to three. Farseer needs to be careful. Wants to try and decap this VP before she's forced off. Curse Lord forced off down here. Tier 3 for Phoenix Light. Loads of pressure. And Farsia goes down to force melee from the CSM. Big risk going after that VP with those CSM there. Mustafa is hanging in. 1 to 1 cap, 91 plays 3, 1 7. Banshees will force off these heretics though. Forcing melee on these warp spiders, are they? Nope. Trying to force melee on guardians instead and wipe them. Mustafa coming back into this game. Goes for Plague Marines. Must be expecting a vehicle for Phoenix Light. Mustafa needs to recap these natural points. Heretics capping his natural back. 83 plays 317 now. Banshee's up against double CSM. Are oh, forced off. Level 2 CSM now. Still no armor for this Chaos Lord. 2 to 1 cap for him. He really needs to recap these points here. Plague Marines on the field. Anti vehicle unit. Their missile snares vehicles. Very slow moving but very tough. Farsia is back on her feet. Capping this Northern VP. Here come the double CSM and the Curse Lord. Warp Spiders take over the cap. There's Ghost Helm. Mind War used on the CSM. Farsi is in a bit of trouble. Is forced off. Lost the indicator for her. Warp Spiders do cap for a 2 to 1 and teleport out. Here come Banshees against double CSM. Need to use their war shout, but they've got no energy for it. And are forced off. CSM now stalking these warp spiders. Seer Council on the field for Phoenix Light. Unique unit to the Farsi, a very powerful melee unit which leap into combat. Going after the CSM here. There's the leap. CSM retreat immediately on sight of them. Mustafa using these plague marines very very aggressively in melee with the Farsi here. They explode when they die which heals the other plague marine members. Mustafa just using them to hold up the Eldar army now in retreat. Might pay for that because Banshees are very very quick. Held up a bit. They do lose another member. Taking back his natural is Phoenix Light 78 plays 231. Mustafa done a fantastic job coming back into this game. Seer Council go all the way to his natural though and cap it. Here comes CSM. One to one, gonna be a two to one. Maybe a triple even. Seer Council under a lot of fire. And fleet away. Get behind a shield, which gives them perfect cover. Doesn't risk an engagement and retreats them. Didn't take a loss. Gonna be a 2 to 1, I think. Curse Lord. Taking so much damage from those Warp Spiders. Double CSM now going after Phoenix Light's natural. Banshees get their shout off and then retreat. 
heretics decap here come the seer council not up to full strength full health in a way fake marines will try and weather the storm and decap at least decap this VP seer council in melee a lot of stuff to deal with they do have fast seer support fortune goes down on them Heretics are wiped by the Sea Council. Sea Council then run away. Farsi in melee with the CSM. Doing nasty damage with that singing spear. Must have a very, very slow to retreat them here. Loses the CSM squad, that's a huge blow. Double Plague Marines on the field, 38 plays 219. Heretics and Plague Marines force off the Shuriken. The amount of power Phoenix Light has over a thousand might be saving for an avatar now. Nope, has another Warp Spider Squad on the way. Farseer manages to finish the decap. Here come Banshees to help her out. Against this Curse Lord who still has no armor, Banshees go to finish the cap. Will the Banshees be able to hold out? Let's kill the weak. The starting ability of the Curse Lord. Here comes Seer Council. Surely the Curse Lord needs to retreat and does. Guide going down on these Banshees, boosting their damage. So much support from the Farsia. Curse Lord has 12 HP. Just gets away. Wash out on the CSM. Here comes the Seer Council. Farseer finishing the cap. Warp Spider's capping north. Do have Chaos on his natural though. Chaos Dreadnought on the way for Mustafa. 33 plays 207. Second Warp Spider squad reinforcing the second. The first even. Here come Plague Marines. Punish melee units by exploding. Farseer does go in though. There goes one Plague Marine. Here come the Seer Council too. There's a Blood Sacrifice. Blood Letters spawned. Plague Marines are trying to decap. Farseer might finish him off there. She levels to 7. Curse Lord is level 3. Sea Council makes short work of those blood letters. Plague Marines did decap. They have a Corn Shrine going down on Phoenix Light's natural VP, which will periodically spit out blood letters. Forcing off these Banshees. 2 plays 194. 2 to 0 cap for Mustafa. Has the north and phoenix is natural. Here come double warp spiders though. Chaos Dreadnought on the field in melee with a Farseer doing lots of damage with that spear of hers. Double warp spiders eating those blood letters. Now trying to take out the shrine. Two to one for Mustafa. Chaos Dreadnought is handled nicely by the Farseer, level 38. Must have been pretty surprised by that, but she does have Fortune and Guide. And Mustafa concedes, not much he can do. These Banshees were just about to take Phoenix's natural back. Fantastic play by Phoenix. Banshees were used very well. I think they were the difference in this game. Go up to level 4. 
thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.